counts by 20 repetitions. His name is a command, the same as sit. His um, name says, I am talking to you, I want your eyes. Okay. So don't yes. give commands that you don't meet. Got it, yes. So, and you can have precious nicknames if you want, but I will warn you that our Border Collie went through five nicknames, so including Twiggly, yeah, name is actually... B, and a variety of other things. Yeah. <laughs> because we used her nicknames that were cute too much with her, and she figured out that Twiggy was her. My mom's Beagle knows that she's a Beagle. If you say Beagle, she pops up and she walks right towards you. Okay, so be careful. That's why we have gotten down to Blackie, White, the Staffy, the Half Staff. We just took the cuteness, the red one, the brown one, the black one. Literally, because everything else cutie, like the man, Phantom, our one male now knows that he's the man. So you got to take the cuteness completely out of it. Otherwise, you're going to go, oh, are you the man? You do that five or six times, you're like, I'm the man. <laughs> Oops. Hawk? And that's the other thing. You see, he went from looking at me to ears forward going, you're talking to me. And I want there to be a difference between I'm looking at you and Hawk. Yeah. You see the change. Okay, I want there to be a difference. Okay, so that is five, 10 cookies a day and really for the next six months. There's just no reason to stop. I want him to think my name is awesome and every time I hear it, it means something. And I will never hear it when it means nothing. Yes. All right, now. Yeah, because I was like, oh, yeah. oh good boy. And pet and love on him, love on him, love on him, love on him. Good girl. You can substitute Freddy's and Patty for food, but make ah, it okay. significant. If I'm doing down. physical contact in the place of food as a reward, it should last 15 to 30 seconds. And you would not believe how long 30 seconds is until you're being timed petting your dog. <laughs> okay, most of the time when I tell people to pet for 30 seconds, for some reason 14 is some kind of magic number, they stop at 14 and I'm like, you didn't even make it halfway. So what I'm saying is don't, we don't want it to be, huh? Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, I was talking to you. <laughs> He's like, I don't know that. I don't want it to be there. And that's it. That wasn't right. enough to make up for a cookie. Huh? Yes, there we go. So if you're substituting praise and petting for food, good. Do that at least half the time, but make it count. Make it huh? Come on in. Oh, you're beautiful. And the best case is we love and love and love it all. Look, and there's a cookie too. Look at that. We love the loving, don't we? The loving comes with cookies. This is awesome. Isn't this just great? It's so great. Oh, wow, wow. That's a connected reward experience. That's what anything that's like a wow, a recall should look like that. Unfortunately, too often the recall looks like, come, got you, in the house, bye. <laughs> and you leave. And no wonder, you know, the recall gets pretty, gets pretty weak. Okay, next exercise, moving on to the recall. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun game time. Follow, keep an eye on her because she's going to want them. All right, so you need visible cookies. If you're doing this in the hallway in your apartment, you're fine. If you're doing it out on the sidewalk, you're in pretty good shape. If you're doing it on grass, you're going to need big old chunks of cheese. Okay? I show the cookie, I say, get it, and I toss it just a couple of feet. Then I say, hey, I back up, get it, and I toss a couple of feet. Really running, going pounce 
on the cookie, turn around, run, pats on the cookie, turn around, run, pats on the cookie, turn around, she called me, comes right into you, okay? So that's the get it game, burn some energy and let you practice name response with motion five, 10, 20, 30 times, okay? Any questions? I want you to do it. Do you want to use some, I'm sorry, I've been just grabbing this because this is my go-to, so you I have some treats? I have these. I don't know if can Oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Great. And so I have a coworker who gave me like dog biscuits. Can you eat dog he can eat dog biscuits. Eat dog. You know, he can eat dog biscuits. They're just not as good. Kind of like I can eat rice cakes, but why would I if I had troubles? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine. And some dogs love like it. Just like some dogs love shredded are, wheat. These are, they're little. Uh, That's right. Okay. Now, here's the thing on the jumping, and, and just it, I kind of back I kind of backburnered it because we had other things more important. Even that, because it's just a cookie. Um, and what I was asking Seg and Paula to do is just kind of step into them. What I've been doing largely, if you notice, is just ignoring him and waiting until he stops. Yeah. Okay. So you can ignore him. You can wait until he stops. You can walk into him or turn sideways to get his feet back on the ground and then reward him. What I don't want you to do is interact with him. If you speak to him, look at him touch him, it's interaction. So it's basically like you push oh, you, you push him, you're playing. Yeah, so it's a very strong reward, it's social interaction. So don't push at him, and if you're gonna move, move him forward. forward. Yeah, yeah. because otherwise it's the push, and yeah. you've got to cut that in pushes. It's not as much fun. Let me steal the cookies for a second, see if I can get him to jump on me. Well, because he knows. Yeah, he's like, well, that's, that's not gonna work. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but if he, if he has, let's pretend he jumped into me, I can either wait, I can kind of, I, I think of this is flicking him off where it's just like, yeah, yeah. just giving him an unstable surface, but if he jumps on me and I move, move right into him, it's, it's hard, it's hard. It's, it's hard. like, it's a reflex nice. reaction, exactly. But I want you to, so sometimes it's easier for people to just cross their arms and wait. That's a valid response. So don't do anything or move forward. Exactly. Moving forward can be very difficult because among other things you feel like you're being mean and that's not your imagination. You're throwing them off balance. We're not hurting it, but we're throwing them off balance. Look at him. Oh, I gotcha. He responded better to the twist. See, I hadn't moved into him yet. I've been just ignoring him. Oh, that's so nice. Like, wait a minute, where's the cookie? <laughs> I got robbed. So my go-to is just to ignore them, but I'm pretty good at ignoring them. dog every time he jumps on me. So over time he learns that it's just a wasted effort. Okay. Just a wasted effort. Looks like with him rather than moving into him, you'd be better off to twist. Because he's pretty agile on his feet. And we're not trying to hurt him. We're just trying so to twist throw him the off. opposite way. Yeah. Yeah you're just trying to make him stable. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah good boy give him good the money. Here's another thing on the name response. If you say his name when he doesn't respond now that's where the treat tag, you know, you tag him, but sometimes if you had hit him in the butt with the cookie, he wants to respond. He was much more interested and honest at that moment. That's where I'll come up and goose him, okay? And excuse me for a second, but that's, and when I say goose, I mean, hey. Okay. Not, 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 not a pinch. Not, not, I'm not trying to bruise then him. Then you say hawk? At that, no, no, I've already said his name. I gave him a chance to respond, and with those ears, he heard me, <laughs> okay? He heard me. I'm saying, you will not ignore me. And to give an idea, I had a lady in here earlier, and yeah. good, good. Just try to, to just, he's don't invisible dog. Him. Don't even look at him, don't touch him. He gets nothing from you, zero. Now he can have a cookie. I had a lady in here with the shepherd that we went from the goose to her actually taking him carefully by the tail and pulling him backwards two steps before he was like, okay, fine, mom, fine, I'll pay attention to you. What you're basically saying is, I will not be ignored. Okay, right, this you is say nothing, right. exactly. Okay. And, and here's the thing to keep in mind I'm not angry that he didn't respond, but I'm not going to build in myself the habit of saying his name two or three cookie. That's beautiful. Um, saying his name two or three or four times because what's going to happen is he's going to learn mom doesn't really mean it until the fourth time, or more often, mom doesn't really mean it. Good, perfect. Mom doesn't really mean it until the tone changes. Usually it's fluffy, 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 
And on that one, the dog turns because you told them the tone that you're going to use right before you're going to come get him. Right. Okay. Well, my tone right before I'm going to come get him is fluffy. <laughs> I was talking to you, wasn't I? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I have control over this situation. I don't have to get angry. I'm in charge. I have the opposable thumbs. Okay. That's the end of the conversation. So I'm not going to use my angry voice. Okay, angry voice is for, oh my God, don't run out the door and get squashed by a car. Angry voice is emergency voice. I'm not saying I've never yelled at my dogs. I'm saying it is not part of my training conversation. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's like with children. I, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no counting. No one. Yeah. Two. Really? You didn't mean it until three? Really, folks? So why did you say it in the first I place? Love my, I love when my friend does that. She's like, I'm counting to three. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... You're just thinking of that. Yes, absolutely with kids. I was a nanny for three years, and I swear to God, on the second birthday party of the one girl, both grandparents pulled me aside and wanted to know how it was I got the girls to listen when I said no. But I don't eat myself ever. Yeah. I say no, and then they're, they're kids. They're babies. You stop them. He's a baby, and he's a dog. He doesn't know you mean it unless you mean it. If you mean it, do something about it. All right. End of lecture on that. So, you're gonna do the get a game and then we're gonna move on. So, can you tell me again the word? Show him, word. Uh, I, when I'm tossing, I say get it. That's my chase command. Get it. His name tells him to turn. Hawk, I back up to bring him towards me. Get it. Hawk, come. Okay, so it's four times word. Two, three, ten times. You toss as many times as you want and then you call. Once you've said his name, you're either going to say get it and throw it, or you're going to say come. You can do either one. Get it and toss. Perfect. Wait until the cookie's in his mouth. Now say his name. Get it. Wait until the cookie's in his mouth. Now hop. Get it. Hop. Come. Take his collar. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Go ahead and get in the habit of reaching out. I know it's awkward because you've got the cookie in your other hand, but I want you, here's what I want him to see. To grab his color. Exactly. Down. I want him to see, I've got you, now you get your cookie. Because okay. otherwise you'll get the, he, hold out the cookie to me. Oh. Got it, thanks. <laughs> and they will dash away. So call him again. Hop. Hop. Get it. Hop. Get it. Here's another one. Grab and cookie. Just in the course of the day. Just here comes the hand to grab you. And here's your cookie. Because otherwise, what happens is if you don't do that exercise, it's easy to look back on the last 10 times that you reached out to grab him and discover that it was all bad news. Yeah. You grabbed him to take away his sock. You grabbed him to put him somewhere he didn't want to go. You grabbed him to take him away from the counter. You grabbed him, you grabbed him, you grabbed him. The last 10 times hands reached for him, it was bad news. Not like he got beaten with a uh, rod. Right right right. grabbed him, he got a reward. Exactly. I wanted to think, here comes human hands. Awesome. What am I going to do this time? I'm going to get petted. I'm going to get a toy. I'm going to get a cone filled with peanut butter. I'm going to get a little liver tree. I'm gonna oh, so grab him and get okay, every something time good. Do. Something good. I want him to think being grabbed is awesome news. Not what a, what what's wrong now? What's wrong now? This is this is one of the ways that you get dogs that play. People be like, he's obviously been beaten in the past. It's like no. If every time a hand came towards you, you were about to get yelled at, you'd think that the hands were pretty bad too. You don't have to have ever actually been hit to think that this is not a good thing. Okay. So we're trying to make sure that at a minute, one second. Maybe I'm in the middle of my lesson. Yeah, go to the fridge. Look in the fridge. Who's in the fridge? Fridge, bye. Sorry, my sister's having to take care of mother watch right now. And... Sorry. Oh, how nice. And this is the other thing. Remember, petting can be in the place of cookies. If I look down and see a loving doggy face looking at me, and if you want, you can even put your face down to lick, but she's just sniffing, and that's fine too. Yes, look what you get. Because here's the thing to keep in mind, the jumping is for social contact. If every time he sits, he gets social contact, and every time he jumps, he gets ignored, 
he's going to sit. Right. Okay? But if he gets ignored for sitting and he gets yelled at for jumping, it's not hard to turn them into that boy that would rather be yelled at by the teacher than ignored in the back of the class. All right. So the collar grab is just to make sure you're balancing out the times that you do have to grab them. Yeah. You're going to start to get out of the car and you're grabbing for the leash and you end up with the collar. Sometimes you'll even accidentally pinch them because that's life. We're balancing out to make sure that 9 out of 10 experiences are positive rather than 9 out of 10 experiences are not. Questions on any of that? No. Awesome. Okay, so leash work being next. This is sit is beautiful. I mean, you're going to keep working on it. We'll work on stay later, but that's just not a priority right now because you've got a wonderful start. So here's what I actually want to give you primarily now, and that is how to prevent bad habits from starting. Okay, bad habit number one that is almost certainly going to develop over time because he's going to want to move faster than you is he pulls and you go. All right, so we can avoid that very simply by, oh, this way. Every time he thinks he's taking the lead, I'm going to be a little bit, oh, not that way. Good. So sidewalks get us in the biggest trouble, okay, because we're going from point A to point B. The dog sees person, whatever. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Good. Yes. Wonderful. Now, you see, there's a little bit of stress there, all right? Because you see the kind of the change in the body posture, and he's kind of slinking towards me with the, what's going on here, what's going on here? He didn't understand any of that, yeah. <laughs> okay? He had no idea what's going on and why I was all of a sudden, among other things, keeping him away from me. So I wanted to limit that. <laughs> you start seeing stress, you're going to want to think of ways to, to decrease that. Here's another trick with the food, okay? So instead of having four Kongs, you might have three. One he gets before breakfast, two he's going to get right before you leave, and the other amount, the other half cup of food is in your training pouch, and when you walk, and what you can do is step, 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 drop three cookies in the grass, and he eats the cookies out of the grass. He's sniffing, which is activating his brain, it's getting his juices flowing, which is what we want. Step, 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 drop some cookies. Step, 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 drop some cookies. What you want to do at this phase of his training and his integration with you is prevent yourself from falling into that trap of full speed ahead and we go where you pull. So, I mean, I know I only walk, I haven't really, I haven't, I've walked in twice, mm -hmm. right. like in the complex, right? So, but that, millions of smells. I was about to say, but that's actually great because you're not locked oh. into sidewalk on the side yes. of the road. You yeah. got, you can dig that. And he's, he's walking like this, like, he has no idea what's happening. Like, okay. not that he has no idea, but like he has not, he doesn't have a path, he doesn't have a destination. He doesn't need a destination. You're out for a walk for 20 minutes, if you never get more than 100 feet from the building, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter, you're not trying to get anywhere, all right? In a perfect scenario, and if he were, if he were like 12 weeks old, I would be having you just follow him everywhere, okay? Because all we have to do right now is prevent bad habits. So can I take a slower half hour walk? on a greenway where I go walking if, if you can keep the leash loose. What do you have to do to keep the leash oh. loose? Now, if you are running and he's running next to you, you're golden. Okay. You are golden. The only rule that I want you to take home this week is he doesn't get anywhere on a tight leash. Oh, yeah. That's like, all. No pulling. No pulling. Say. Yes. Okay. When the yes, leash goes tight and he's going, I'm going this way, you're going to go, no, actually, we're going this way. Yes. Okay. All right? If you head on the greenway and it's like, I'm running, and you're running right alongside me, and the leash is loose, hanging. What's your name, Sparrow? How do? Okay. I don't want him practicing this feeling. Okay. Ne nourris pas le chien. Le nourris pas maintenant. Ne donne donne pas des treats à lui. À lui. Fais gaffe. Oui, mais fais gaffe parce que voilà, tu vois. Fais attention, Sparrow. Je sais. Can can you call him? Can you call him? Because Paolo is is feeling he's feeling Annex and he really he really he really but he's polite. But I mean, yes. But I don't want you know. Yeah, I don't really want to have too much. Uh, good girl. Um, so, oh, I know, I know she's moving. So we're gonna have a whole nother little mini lesson here. 
about restraint and see how you respond. This will be a good evaluation. Um, all we need for leash walking right this okay, chose, oui. is to say, if you will, I will stop, I will change the direction. You will never get where you want to go. <laughs> Bullying is itself what we call self-reinforcing behavior, which is to say that as long as it works, the dog will keep doing it forever. Okay? So what you need is to prevent the pulling from happening. And if you just play, that's why I was saying, if he was 12 weeks old, you should follow him everywhere they go. Let him take the path, yeah. and you cut the leash loose, and they send the first. That's what I was trying, in the comments I was doing that. I was like, can you just and go where you want to go? And you follow. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. So all we want to do is prevent him from learning how much fun pulling is. Yes. Okay? You're building his attention, and you're building your relationship. Once that's stronger, because you guys just met. <laughs> Once that's stronger, then we can start saying, pay attention to mom and respond to me as opposed to respond to the leash. But trying to do that today would rely entirely on the food, and we can do it that way, but you're gonna, you already have so many other things to be spending your calories on. If we were to try to teach him basically feeling, or even the harder one, which is loose leash walking, you're, you're gonna be spending a lot of calories on that. And we'll get to it. We'll get to it, but you've got other more important things to do, like the crate and, and the non-jumping and the sitting and, and the recall. Okay, so we're saving, we're saving calories for that right so now. So when I, when I take him out later, it'll be around the comp apartment mm -hmm. complex, not like tomorrow I'll try the greenway, but not today. Yeah, not today. Keep up with him but or let him change be, direction. Yeah. One or the other. Got it. Just that simple. Because I don't want even one step of he saying we're going to do north and you say, yeah, sure, we'll go do north. Pull me wherever you want me to go. No. Mm. <laughs> no pulling, period. So we're just closing the door on that habit and we're, we're building that responsive habit in you. <laughs> and that's, that's really the hardest thing. Because we do, we just reflexively move. Yeah. He's right. very much interested. <laughs> Like, well, they're getting... having a party now, yeah. and, and, and I'm getting the boring treatment. Okay, yeah. so any any other behaviors that you would like to address this week? No, I mean, I think that covers it. Just uh, yeah. crate training is going to take the <laughs> next two days. The, yes. cou the um, couch and the chair. He likes to jump on it. Is um, he allowed on the furniture? He's In my I house, mean, let's say. <laughs> see, that's a decision I have to make. Yes, and you need to make it now. Let me I know. This way. If you're like, not sure... Do me a favor. I grab. don't want him to go on the bed. Okay. Like, because he slept on my bed yesterday. Okay. First of all, so, he can't get on it by himself. So, it's yeah. too high. Yeah. You know what? Let's just shut him out of the bedroom for right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, for the next. <laughs> let's shut him out of the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to go in the bedroom. It's not right now. Okay. All right. Let's, I, just, I, let's just take a couple so days off. He's going to sleep <laughs> in the living room. Because he slept <sighs> in my he bed. Slept, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing you put him back into your bedroom. Well, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a problem. Because but he cannot jump. He cannot jump on our bed. I think the bed is too yeah, high right now. Okay, here's the thing. He shouldn't be in the bedroom without you. Period. He's not. Okay. Um, if you take him in at night and he's tired and he curls up on his bed, no problem. If he's pestering you bedside, you're gonna have to make a decision. Can you truly ignore him? Is it safe to ignore him? All right. And can you get any sleep? So <laughs> yesterday, no, I really did not get that much sleep last night. Yesterday he was on the couch, and I went in my bed, and he didn't. He didn't even follow me mm -hmm. until like I was later on. I was in the bed, and then he came around, and I had to help him up on the bed. Okay, but I don't know that he would have joined, joined me. You. Okay, so this is the thing. It's gonna be an experiment. It's gonna be an experiment. So he doesn't go into the bedroom until tonight, and you lay the bed, and I will have the crib. Well, I don't want to crate it overnight. No, no I'm not, no, not going to yeah. close it, but like the crate will be in the living room with yes. the door open, and we'll have, we'll have played with the crate. Yes. I will have put his bed that's in the living room now in my bedroom. Bed so this you'll have the, two beds. Well, this is the question. Do you want to give him access to the whole apartment while you're unconscious? No. I would shut him in the bedroom with you. Oh, when I'm sleeping? When you're sleeping. This is what he I'm saying. He just sleeps. Okay, then if he'll sleep on his bed, on the floor, in your bedroom, and not pest you, then... then he doesn't move until like 6 a.m. Then just leave him off the bed. Just yes. leave him off the bed. And for the couch, since he, he can get on that on his own now, get yourself some storage boxes, some big old cardboard boxes. Well, cardboard's a bad idea since he already knows that paper is fun. What I use is big storage boxes that have some dog bedding in them to, do what? to block the couch so that he just can't get on it. Oh, I don't care that he has on the couch. 
Okay, so he's fine on the couch. Yes. Okay, then we're done. Then we're done. He doesn't have access to the bedroom unless you're there to make sure he doesn't get any bright ideas. Everything and you will just be don't closed help him. and he'll be created. We're and not he's allowed on the couch. Yep. So you're fine. That's it. Yep. And you're just not going to help him back on the bed. And if he, just, if he spends the next two weeks sleeping on his bed in the corner of the bedroom, you're done. At night? Yeah. Okay, got And it. he's going to form that habit. What I'm concerned about is that he gets up at 2 a.m. and starts whining and you want to get back to sleep and you lift him on the bed. Um, I will That's, probably not do that. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm I, warning you right I'm now. Not, I'm not that easy going. Okay, good, good. I'm just <laughs> warning you right now, you open that door and I had people that were getting woke up first at no. 6, then at 5.30, then at 5, then at 4.30, and at 4.30 they were like, uh-uh, no, <laughs> we're done. I was like, well, oh, it would have been easier to be done the first night. The way that last okay. night happened and he was like literally on my side of the bed, I was like, you're not sitting on my bed anymore. There nope. you go. All right. So done on that one. So, Anything yeah. else? No. I think that covers pretty much everything for now. For good, the next, good. Like, now, here's one of my pet things. He is so easy going right now. Now is the time. To do the nails. Not just do the nails, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, and, and this is not protesting. Just so you know, sometimes the dogs will protest. He's going, hmm, okay. So yeah, no, I know. He's, he's good. So it was, I was so scared because I, this, I, when, um, yesterday he was at my, at my house and I was like, shit, he has a tick. Oh, he yeah. He had no. a tick here. Oh, and did he? Okay. He did. And I thought he was in. And so, like, I played around with it. And then I saw that thing, like, crawling out. And I, I just grabbed it and I like threw that yeah. thing out. So you need to, you're gonna have to be able to manipulate him, yeah. shake his ear. Well, I've always been really good with all the dogs that we've had. Like I was the one who was taking care of their paws and everything. Every right. time they had boo boos. So no, she was. She was the nurse. I was. <laughs> she was the good. nurse of the so dog. You know, what, you know what we're talking about. What I mm. it's just the same principle though as the collar grab. I want to make sure that he doesn't only have his feet handled when you trim them. I want them handled every day. Yeah, I was actually playing months. with his paws this good. morning. Good. I wanted to think sometimes I get my toes and see here once again, I'm messing with his feet and he's turning around and he's kind of like, oh, are we playing? You're playing yeah. with me. Am I playing with you? And I'll let the mouthing go, but I don't let go of his, you know, I didn't let go of his foot until he moved his mouth away. I don't want it to turn into you touch me, I touch you and you stop. Yeah. Because then he thinks that he has, I make that contract with him. You tell me to stop and I stop. And then sometimes I can't stop because I need to get all of his nails done. That's kind of unfair. All right, so I want him to understand sometimes I'm just gonna have to mess with your toes. And, and I'm not angry at you for interacting, but it's not gonna make me stop. Yeah. All right. I but was he's kind of going, I'd like to I was be laying laying alone. So morning. this, before he was doing a little bit of just investigating, now you notice he took like my whole hand in, and he's kind of going, all right, I kind of like you to stop now. <laughs> you know, you've been bugging me for a while, and now he gives up, and then I let go. You will not get me to stop by pestering you. What about the mouthing, Sigrid? The what? Mouthing. Well, he's really only doing it in response right now to uh. our physical restraint, and as long as that remains true and he learns that Matt, you will never stop until he has stopped, that he has to basically give first, then you shouldn't run into any problems. Now, the mouthing and or destructive chewing will get worse. With the teeth? Yeah, with the, yeah, because he has puppy teeth. So when the gums start to swell and not be happy, that's another reason why I like to freeze the Kongs because it's just like a teething ring for the puppy, for the okay. babies. But it's a nice cooling thing. The other thing I'll do is a wet washcloth into the refrigerator or freezer. And then if you notice I've been doing just a little light massage around here, I just like them to be happy about the hands around the face. I'll take the wet washcloth and massage their gums. Just a, just a lot of inflammation that happens there. Doesn't, doesn't feel good. Same thing with babies. You can give yeah. them that nice something cool on their, on their mouth. So you can give it to him too. Okay. Question. Well, I mean, I'm going to have questions <laughs> yes. as he grows because I don't know anything. Oh, about. absolutely. But right now, I think for for now. Um, got, got your foundation? Yes. Awesome. Um, um, I will take your number so that. Yes. Yeah, call, text. And I, I, made, I made videos so she can. Excellent. Re-look re at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he got, he got, he got bit. Yeah. It happens. You don't have. We call we call to my girl Scarface for the first six months, <laughs> where um, the adult dogs would have to physically discipline her, and she was very not impressed. It turns out she doesn't have much in the way of pain receptors, so she'd be bloody all the time. So oh. that, that, let me just summarize what you said for the next three days. Yes. Two exercises. One, get out of the house with him. Three, three. in the house. Yes. 
10 minutes, and 40 minutes, and an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And this repeatedly, randomly. And over. building up to the four hours by Sunday. The idea. other is go into the grave, door open, and receive cookies. Mm -hmm. Then go in the grave, door closed, and receive, receive cookies, cookies and yeah. me being around. Mm -hmm. Go in the crate and no cookies with me around. Well, you're gonna you're going to give um, the the calm. The crate is gonna be baited. With yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 And yeah. then no, no additional one. And right? then leave. Are you uh, working on our next puppy? <laughs> I, I think well, that's a tease. I, I'm not sure, but. <laughs> I am working on, on this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, well, have, well, then, maybe at a time. I have all the information. And then in the crate, crate, crate closed, of course, mm -hmm. containing, and then and me gone. Yes. Me gone. Well, me, me gone. Yes. Me gone. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. It's mine. That is, <laughs> so you keep this in mind for the next three days. The Monday is another week. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you'll, here's the thing. Any speed bumps, any problems along the way, remember you've got you've got basically a safety net to say, yeah. you know, for Monday or Tuesday or even Monday through Friday, we're going to not don't start down any paths practicing things that you don't want to see six months from now. And that's the yes. basic. So I mean, she's told okay. me quite a bit, and I've learned I've learned she's done a good job with honest. Oh, absolutely. Right? So I mean I she said that she said it to me a lot. She was like Make sure the behavior that you don't want to yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. This so is I very know important. before I got into the car, I had the treats in my bag. And I was like, sit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes, for sure, anything that I yeah. don't want to see. Now, and, and but once again, you can prevent things from by training. You can also prevent things simply by management. When you shut him away from your, that's what management is. Yes. You shut up. You shut the bedroom door during the day, and you're just saying, we're just not gonna have the conversation about the bed, because you're not gonna have access unless I'm in there. That's a management solution, so you don't have to train everything. What I'm telling you about the leash walking is largely management. We're simply not gonna practice the habit of pulling. Of pulling, and if you never do it, then you Well, if there's more to it, you're gonna have to follow up on that, but I don't know how soon you're gonna have to follow up on that, because the fact is, if you follow him around the neighborhood, the neighborhood when you're just doing walks, and if you wanna run with him, and for at least the next couple of months, he can just keep up with you, or more accurately, you can keep up with him, then it's the end of the conversation. Oh, she can, she can already run with him? A little bit? He, let me put it this way. If he were in a dog park with his, his three he miles, would he would run. He wouldn't run three miles. Right. You, yes, you can run with him, because if you're running, he's going to be trotting. Hmm. Take a look at those legs, right. okay? He shouldn't be at a dead run for more than a mile, no. But yes, yeah, to, to be clear, I'm talking about him trotting, you you running, jogging, and, and just letting him have his natural stride. Okay? Because even when I was tossing cookies and he was kind of moving, he didn't even break out of a walk. Alright? I'm saying that I'm envisioning, and I don't know how fast you are, let me put it this way. I couldn't outrun him. Okay. Right. I couldn't begin to move fast enough to make him uncomfortable.